The new coronavirus outbreak is caused by a virus called SARS coronavirus 2, and it causes a respiratory syndrome disease called COVID-19. It causes symptoms including cough and fevers. The current virus was identified in Wuhan a province in China in December 2019. And about a month later, the first case outside China was reported. Since then, it's spread globally and is still an ongoing pandemic. The crucial thing that we're trying to do is what is called flattening the curve. And this is a process by which if we didn't have any interventions, we carried on with our life as normal, a lot of people would get infected and you would see high number of cases at any one point. However, if we followed some of these uh, procedures that will minimize spread of the virus, although the number of cases might remain the same, the peak is spread out and so at any one point there will be lower number of cases and that really helps the health services, the NHS, to cope with the number of people and to provide service in a meaningful way that allows them not to get overwhelmed. If we want to think about how similar it is to other viruses, the new coronavirus is similar to SARS and MERS coronaviruses. The mortality rate of the new coronavirus is lower than SARS or MERS, but it does seem to be spreading much faster. So although this, uh, this outbreak is spreading fast and it is a serious issue, it's important for people not to panic. What we want to do now is really minimize the spread of the virus to vulnerable people who might get severe disease. And it's really important now for people to self-isolate 